Hello and welcome to Grade 9 Mathematics. The section we're doing today is we're going to start looking at equations. All right, so basically what we're going to do today is we're going to just simply revise what you think Grade 8 on equations. Now, first of all, what is an equation? All right, let's just quickly uh, start this. All right, so let's see, what is an equation? Now, Remember last year you guys did this whole thing where you solved for x and you would really give then let's say x minus one is equal to six. Now that over there is an equation. Now how do you know it's an equation? It's simply of that equal sign. So in other words, you have an expression equal to another expression. Right. Now that is what we basically talk about today. Um, and in this whole section. Right, in grade eight, you learned how to solve some basic equations. For example, you learned how to deal with this type of equation and you dealt with other type of equations. Now, the types that you'd normally dealt with were uh, a number times x is equal to another number, when it's divided by another number, for example. Now, we're gonna go through all of this today in terms of the basic equations that you have already encountered last year in grade eight. All right. In grade nine, you're going to deal with more complex equations. All right now, the equations you're going to deal with in grade nine are as follows. You're going to deal with equations where there are only there are x on both sides of the equation. All right now, in grade eight, you only dealt with what equations where it was on the one side of the equation. All right. In grade nine, you're also going to deal with more complicated fraction equations, and also involving brackets as well. Then we're going to deal with simple quadratic equations. Now that is only going to be dealt with in term three. All right, when we deal with factorization. And also then we're going to look at simple exponential equations. All right, so we're going to deal with that over the course of this section of work. All right, so basic equations. The first, uh, remember how to solve an equation is to move to the other side and to change the operation. Now remember, you dealt with the whole thing where you moved over from one side, from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, or from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. All right, now what happened was, when you moved over, you found that sometimes you had to change the sign, like for example, when we were adding or subtracting, but when you were multiplying or dividing, you found that you had to keep the same sign. All right, that's what we're gonna to do today. All right, so for example, Solve for x. 3x three plus, three plus 1 is equal to 7. Now, remember when you dealt with this whole thing, what we had to do was we first had to deal with the 1, move it over to the other side, and then dealt with the, deal with the 3. All right, so let's do that quickly. So we're going to deal with the 1 and move it over the other side. It becomes minus 1. So that's where that comes from. Um, three, x is equal to 7 minus 1, which is 6. Right, then afterwards you divide it by three. So you said six divided by three, which is over there, gives you an answer of two. All right, example two. Minus four x minus five is equal to minus 17. All right, over here we're gonna move the minus five over to the other side, becomes plus five. All right, so now we say minus four x, now notice we kept the minus still, all right? Minus 4x is equal to minus 17, but we only move the 5 over, so it becomes now a plus. Now remember, that's when we move it over and it becomes a plus. When we divide by the minus 4 just now, we keep the minus still. Right. So minus 17 plus 5 on the calculator will give you minus 12. Now, to do that, to solve that, we're going to say minus 12 divided by the minus 4, which is 3. All right, so therefore our answer is three. Remember, when you deal with equations, if you want to check that you are right, you can always put this and substitute back into the equation. Say minus four times by three, minus five doesn't give you minus 17 as an answer. All right, example three. Okay, I'm going to give you a very basic one of you. X minus one is equal to five. Now remember, what do you do over there simply? Move the minus one over to the other side becomes plus one. So it becomes five plus one, which is six. Right, example four. Here's a more complicated or 
more complicated example that you did in grade eight. 3x plus 3x over 4 plus 1 is equal to 11. Right now, over here, we move the 1 over to the other side and becomes 11 minus 1, which is 10. Then we said, right, because we got this whole thing now, what you could have done is simply say 10 times 4 and then divide by 3, or simply just say x is equal to 4 times 10 over 3. You know, it's do two things at once. All right. Now, 4 times 10 over 3 gives me 13 and 1 over 3. All right. It gives you 40 over 3, which simplifies to that. All right. Example 5. Last example for today. 4 times 5, brackets, 5x five minus, five minus 4 is equal to 8. Now, over here, we simply divide the 4, the, the 8 by 4. So, we said... 5x minus 4 is equal to 8 divided by 4, which is 2. And then we move the 4 over to the other side, becomes a plus 4, so it becomes 5x is equal to 2 plus 4, which is 6. Then divide both sides by 5, so x is equal to 6 over 5, which is 1 and 1 fifth. Now, please, um, there is some questions for you to try out at home. Um, make sure that you do it, and we'll look at the questions tomorrow or the next lesson.